one way I like to approach this is step one, imagine for yourself what you would be doing if there were no rules. Just what if you just free flow, no boundaries, no rules, what would you be doing that you would imagine yourself, you know, coming home at the end of the day and going, this is awesome, so awesome. Like jumping out of your skin because it's just, this is life, you know. Go there first. Just let your imagination run wild and imagine fully what that would be. That's step one. Just lay it out there. You can write it if you want, you can draw it if you want, you can record yourself talking about it if you want, you can voice record, you can video record, you can just imagine in your mind, whatever it is. But go there first, that's step one. Step two then is to think about how would I actually, what would be the first step towards that? So you go really big first, and then you go all the way to the other end of the spectrum, and you start with the very first step towards potentially making that happen. So let's say, for example, let's say, um, you know, my dream is to start my own organization. Let's just say this is what I imagine. And I have this idea of how, the types of people I'm going to be working with, what those interactions will look like and feel like, um, what my physical space will look like, um, maybe an idea of kind of how scheduling would work to my advantage the whole gamut, you know, just this is amazing. Then I would go to the very end of the other spectrum and I'd go, okay, what would be a first step? A very small doable first step. Because what you want to be able to do then after you have this vision that gets you excited is you want to be able to take a first step and have a success experience. You don't want to list out 8 million goals and try to tackle those all in the next week, right? Just one, small step. So maybe it's, I jump online and I plug in a few keywords that come to mind when I think about my organization and I just see what's out there. And that's it. And that's all I'm doing. And that is my first step and it's done once I've done that. That's it. So you got step one, go big. Step two, go small and successfully. Because this goes back to mastery too, right? Where once you've actually taken your first step, you start to feel a little bit more mastery, a little bit more mastery. Then you can get in this kind of upward spiral, right? Build on the momentum of the mastery. And then step three, let it sit. So notice what comes up after having taken that first step. And again, I tend to be big on integration of internal experience at any given time. So again, we're looking at thoughts, behaviors and behavioral urges, emotions, and body sensations. So that third step, and you do this after every step, is notice what's coming up. Work the diamond is what I say in my groups. You know, okay guys, work the diamond. What are these four experiences? So you may have some thoughts, like for example, let's say I go on and I find, wow, there are a couple organizations that are maybe doing kind of what I'm envisioning. I may have a mix of feelings and thoughts. I may feel a little intimidated or discouraged. I may actually also feel kind of excited and hopeful that this could work. I may notice my stomach is getting a little fluttery or I'm feeling some anticipatory anxiety. I may have some thoughts like, oh, I don't know, I th what if I can't compete? Or maybe this is too big a thing. I may also have thoughts like, oh, wow, I wanna look at more. Notice the behavioral urge. Maybe I wanna explore more, I wanna explore more. Maybe I wanna tell a friend or somebody I trust about my idea, share that idea, any number of things. But this is where you're constantly, we're self-reflecting, self-assessing every step of the way. And doing that helps build insight around our, our internal experiences, which we carry with us everywhere, and helps you build mastery, helps us build mastery through each step of the process towards a big vision. And that's where you're connecting then your day to day to that meaning kind of out there in the world that you're going for. So those would be my three steps. Go big, go small, work the diamond. <laughs>